78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. I know it because I was one of them. It was about 20 years ago and my husband and I had moved into a new house and I broke my rules about emergency savings. I was a financial advisor back then and we used all of our money to improve the house. So we we're going to Home Depot and painting and whatever the house needed we were doing. So we're really short on any kind of emergency savings. I thought this would be okay because an emergency probably wouldn't happen and you know, we would we would make the money up and start saving as soon as we were settled. But of course, when you're least expecting it and the most unprepared, that's when emergencies strike, right? So I'm going up the Garden State Parkway in my car and of course I hear bang, rattle, rattle. It completely stops and will not go. So I called AAA, I got AAA to come. They basically, um, you know, told my car to the dealership and the dealership told me it was gonna be $8,000 to get my car fixed. I don't even think the car was worth that much. And I'd gone to the dealership all the time for them to take care of the car and they never told me to change the timing belt. So I was really extra upset. I was distraught, I couldn't believe they wanted $8,000, so I did some research and I actually found another mechanic that would do it for $2,000 um, in cash. So I went around and basically um, scraped up money as much as I can and I was able to get it fixed and then I unloaded the car as quickly as I possibly could. After that happened, just the feeling of being so upset, um, I never wanted to feel that again. So of course then we, cut back and started just saving as much so we did have a cushion should anything um, happen. We don't, I didn't want to get in a situation where I took had to take cash advances out on credit cards or anything where you're paying these crazy amounts of interest because that can be a snowball effect that you really can't get out of. So you just want to be really, really prepared um, for emergencies when they strike. Basically, Steve Burkholder said, which I really believe, is if you're saving, then you're succeeding. Saving gives you options and savings allow you to be more free and feel more confident. And that's what we want to do in these series of videos, in this education. So my goal is to help you just be a more solid, have more solid finances. That'll give you more freedom over time. And one way to do this is to build this emergency savings fund. So how much do you need? I would say you need to save at least three to six months worth of expenses to get it going. So there's really three steps in the emergency savings fund. The first one is set your goal. How much do you spend each month? Take that amount and multiply it by three or six and pick a range, pick a goal for what you need. Okay, so if you're not sure how much you spend, take a look at your take home pay. How much of that are you using every single month? Okay, and that would give you a really good sense of what you use. You can also basically, um, Take a look and really do a spreadsheet and dig down into each expense that you have every month. I mean, it's so easy now to download credit card statements, bank statements, and things like that. Then you can see exactly what you spent over the last six months, and then that would be your goal. How much did you spend over the last six months? That's the goal for savings um, going forward. Number two is determine how much you can save for emergencies each month. Can you save $200 a month or $300 a month? I mean, you don't. You want to keep. You want to keep saving in other areas too, especially if you have a match on your 401k at work, you want to, don't want to stop that. But you really want to start having a plan every single month and you want to pay yourself first and try to make it automatic. Try to make it so that that money market account that you set up just pulls money in every single payroll period and try to have it somewhere where it isn't so easy to get to your money because this is really for emergencies, okay? You need to make this a priority or else it just isn't going to happen. Okay, so set your goal, see how much you need to save, open a money market account, and then just keep going until you hit your goal. Okay, little by little, you can save this money. There have been people that have made not much money at all and saved fortunes. And there's people like Sir John Templeton, who was a great investor. He actually saved 50% of his income every year. He, did, he was very frugal. Um, that's a bit excessive for most, but if you can save 20% of your income, maybe 10% for retirement and 10% toward emergency savings and other things, that really would give you a lot of financial flexibility in the long run. Okay, so 
Once you have your emergency savings all set, then you can set up another financial goal. Maybe it's saving for a house or saving for a vacation or what have you. Um, so you set up another goal for you to reach and you can use that ongoing savings for that goal. So if you have questions or want to copy of the worksheet or if we can help in any way, please give us a call at 732-224-9900 or our website is omirafinancial.com and we really want to help you plan and watch your finances flourish. Thank you.